This video is brought to you by Wing Fox. When Loish, who's probably one of the most popular artists on social media, tweets out that she's being attacked by art thieves stealing her art and selling them as NFTs, then you know literally no one is safe. Even after Loish explicitly stated why she avoided involving herself in the NFT bubble, some weirdos still went ahead to try to steal her art and sell it on OpenSea. Why? This is Loish we're talking about. As in, THE Loish. Isn't it so obvious that someone is going to recognize her art and just call it out for selling someone else's work? I guess using logic is not required to become an art thief, which is probably why they keep getting caught all the time. What? There's some treaty motherfuckers! That, that's that's exactly, exactly what I'm Hey, how's it going and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about art thieves and how they're becoming a very big problem to every artist on Twitter just trying to make art. I'm sure from how this is going, you can already tell this video is going to be me being irritated and mostly just annoyed for the entire time I spend recording this video. And I'm sure by the time you're done watching it, you're going to be as irritated and annoyed as I am. Now, it's no coincidence that since NFTs became so popular and started trending all over the internet, the amount of people trying to make thousands of dollars from art that doesn't belong to them just automatically increased rapidly in the blink of an eye. It's like they open the lottery for art thieves and almost every day one artist on Twitter is complaining about their art being stolen and sold as NFTs without their permission at all. Lois Van Barl? Am I pronouncing that correctly? Hold on. Van Barl. Popularly known as Loish on social media, with a whopping 2 million followers on Instagram where she shares her beautiful art and showcases her extraordinary drawing skills that make it seem as if she was specifically chosen and blessed by the god Hephaestus himself. Well, Loish took to Twitter some weeks back and made a tweet saying, Some rando is selling my art as an NFT on OpenSea. Reported it through their site and also through the Discord but zero response. What are you going to do about this kind of blatant copyright infringement, OpenSea? Oh, which is quite a coincidence, because I do recall someone making an entire account pretending to be Loish and selling NFTs of Loish artwork earlier this year. This person even put up the exact banner and profile picture Loish was using at the time and even used a link to her actual website. This is a very annoying situation, but you have to admit it. These art thieves are good. Imagine spending time paying attention to everything a person does just to use it to become a version of themselves on one of the most hated platforms by the entire Twitter art community couldn't be me. What bothers me is that these people even went ahead to start following other people which just totally makes it look like this could be the actual Loish who's just following people she enjoys their art and then whenever they see this they automatically just want to follow her back which really it isn't her at all and it's just an art thief pretending to be Loish. If this person could literally put so much effort in becoming a fake artist online, why not just pay an actual artist to make art for you and then sell the art as NFTs without having to watch your back or have your entire account banned out of nowhere. Oh, I forgot, using logic is not required to become an art thief. Loish has had to deal with NFT art thieves twice that we know of and at this point it's honestly just becoming irritating. Aside from just going through the stress of making an art book and launching a Kickstarter, which by the way, if you haven't seen her new art book, you should go check it out and support her project. It's super awesome and looks really amazing right now. I wonder how it will look when it's finally out. She also has to deal with people pretending to be her literally every other month. So bummed about the fact that I made the choice not to get involved in NFTs in any way but still have to spend time on these shady platforms looking for report buttons which turn out to be useless. I wish there was a way to opt out entirely and not have to deal with it at all. Isn't it funny how the report button does nothing on shady websites, especially whenever you actually have something you want to report that is important. It's as if the developers just knew from the onset that this is going to cause a lot of trouble and then they decided to leave out some of the code that make reporting functional. And what's annoying is, even when you decide to send them an email, sometimes it takes days before you could get an actual reply. That is, if you get a reply at all. But I believe this varies from platform to platform and who knows, this one might actually be lenient enough and have good enough customer service that replies to emails and answers people's complaints and technical difficulties on time. But I highly doubt it. I think I can understand a bit how this might make you feel, but please don't blame the platform. Blame the people doing this. We got used to eBay years ago and most people should have a pretty neutral position on online shopping. 
Yet, there are a lot of bad players scamming others, which is remarkably correct. I remember there was a time when eBay was considered a no-go area unless you just wanted to be scammed. I mean, someone could just put up a picture of a leather studded jacket and then send you a children's raincoat when you eventually make an order. It's a bummer that once you reach any amount of success, your art is apparently up for grabs and there's very little you can do about it unless you pay a lot of money for lawyers or push yourself to exhaustion to try to manage it yourself. This is the most relatable comment I have read on Twitter. Except, I'm not successful enough for the comment to relate to me. And I'm not even sure I can call myself an artist at this point. I just make YouTube videos and draw thick boys. And all of you happen to like both, so common ground i guess it's funny because both super popular artists and artists who are really good but not as popular all get their art stolen equally although it's much more common to find really popular artists having to deal with art thieves because popularity also comes hand in hand with copycats and plagiarists for some reason i'm guessing why loish is an easy target for art thieves is because her art is really pretty and it's also just very appealing and pleasing to look at almost to any person who likes art at all regardless of the medium so it's easy to share her art among a crowd and get a whole bunch of wow that's so pretty who's the artist ooh, ooh. and this is mostly why art thieves steal her work and use it on whatever platform as bait because they know it will stand out among all the other arts just because of her unique style and beautiful colors which is just so annoying like okay do you expect me to start making ugly art and expect people not to steal my art because it's ugly or should I just keep making good, pretty art and just keep on struggling to report every person that steals my art? <sighs> decisions, decisions. Put yourself in Lois's shoes. What would you do if this kept happening to you? Speaking of having pleasant art, our good friends at WinFox are having a two-year anniversary discount on all the professional tutorials on their website, which cover illustration, character design for games and animation, and digital painting. All the tutorials on WinFox are taught by industry professionals in video games and animation and are filled with hours of knowledge, professional techniques used by people working in the industry, and years of experience. They also just launched this funny little lottery box game where you win a collection of tutorials across the website by plane, which is surprisingly fun. So make sure to check out their website if you're interested in learning digital art and use any of the discount codes in the description to save up to $60 on your first purchase. Links and other relevant information are in the description box down below. Happy learning. It's a good thing that DeviantArt now has a feature that can help you detect whenever your art is stolen and used as NFTs. So I guess that's one step in the right direction because this whole NFT situation is just a mess right now. And just thinking about it gives me a constant headache. When I first heard about NFTs, I was hoping it would be great for digital artists. Then I read about the environmental issues and copyright issues. It's just another way to take advantage of artists. So sorry you have to put all this energy into solving this mess. I mean, anything that primarily focuses on exploiting artists and manipulating them into using their work as bait to seduce rich people into spending thousands of dollars. Wait, did I just expose the essence of fine art and art galleries? That's beside the point. I'm probably not the right person to talk about NFTs and why you should or should not partake in them because I really don't know much about how NFTs function at all. Aside from seeing a random influencer post a picture of an ape and claim they bought it for $30,000 and ended up selling it for three times that amount. And I also heard the same thing about NFTs being bad and harmful to the environment since mining and minting them takes a toll on the creator's computer energy reserve which then causes a hypothesis for internet. Point is NFT bad for environment. But you're always open to argue with me in the comments. I am so sorry this happened to you. NFTs are so gross and the fact that they scream so loudly about how authentic they are and still let this happen is unbelievable. There is nothing original or authentic about stealing others work. So disgusting. 
What even pisses me off about NFTs is that it's so easy for literally anybody to just take a random photo or drawing or anything and just sell it as an NFT. I have seen someone screenshot a tweet and sell it as an NFT and I immediately just started thinking about my life and debating with myself if I am making the right financial decisions. Because at this point you don't have to be good at anything to make thousands of dollars with NFTs. This just makes it so easy for people with absolutely zero skill to steal or trace an artist's work and just make money off of it. I'm sorry you're going through this. Does it come to a point where you the artist have to watermark your entire canvas for these kinds of things to stop? I hope not. Just like in the music world, we producers literally have to say our aliases on these beats from other people for other people to stop on these beats to stop other people from stealing. This comment is making me lose brain cells at the end. But that is actually an interesting solution to this situation. The only thing is having a big watermark across the entire canvas just seems a little bit tacky. I mean, yes, it may work to some extent and might even make people probably stop stealing your work, but it begins to take away the essence of the art and just interrupt the design of the image since it's just the artist's name covering a large portion of the canvas. Most times, the artist's work just speaks for itself, so whenever you see the artist's work, you just recognize it without the artist having to sign his name on it or leave a watermark on any part of the image. But even with a watermark and having Having your art recognizable, this other artist refused to work with some people who wanted him to make an NFT and still had his art stolen, traced and used as NFTs. It seems like the meaning of consent is just different to some people because these people just can't take no for an answer. The artist DK Motion on Twitter made a tweet calling them out saying, I have recently found out that there is a collectible project from Crypto Baby Llama that directly traces out one of my old works and is being released soon. I wanted to bring this to your attention before people start buying into their projects. Yo, this is directly a one for one copy. We don't even have to go through all this stress of putting the images over themselves. You can just see it clearly. This is so bad. And then they had their own artists or whoever traced the image for them make different versions of the llama so they could give it a little flair and make it slightly different from the original. <laughs> they even gave theirs different colors and added accessories to them to give them more personality. Why? You could have just drawn your own version of a llama instead of tracing. You clearly have the skills to draw a proper image judging from how well you traced this one and how well you drew the accessories on the other llamas you traced. So here's what happened so far. They reached out and asked me to be part of their project with the copied work of mine and of course I said no. I told them to redesign everything before the drop which was only a few days later. So they did and people still bought them. The community and the hype was built by my original work and they probably hired another artist for a redesign. And now they're doing serums, very original. I am all about positive vibes and I wanted to move on but this space can be very disgusting. So much money grab. I don't know what's more annoying. Stealing an artist's work and using it to make money even after he declined to be part of your project or just the other artist tracing a fellow artist's work. Please make it make sense. I feel like as an artist you literally can't say no to some projects you don't feel comfortable working on especially when the client is forcing and insisting you should trace another person's work or pretend to be another artist entirely. This just means they actually are not interested in your work and just want you to be a cheaper version of someone else. How original. Imagine being the Walmart version of another artist. Wait, isn't that my entire MO? So for the conclusion, it is what it is. They redesigned as I asked but the community deserves to know the story behind this. Do they deserve respect as an artist? No. Their dignity? Zero. What have I gained out of this? Nothing. I am just going to focus on my work. As you should, King, as you should. Honestly, the best thing to do is just to focus on your work and keep it moving. Because as it stands, the NFT community is just going to keep on growing and exploiting artists. They are still going to continue stealing art and I doubt anyone can really stop them. It's just a massive front for trading cryptocurrencies and just like the stock market, it will just keep on growing. So the best thing you can do is report anytime you see an artist's work that you recommend 
recognize and just pray it gets taken down like Lodge and DK Motion. And for the artists who just trace other artists' work because they're being paid to do so, please have some dignity for yourself. Your art is literally more valuable than whatever your client is paying you to do. And remember, you can always say no. Except, well, you're being held at gunpoint and being forced to trace another artist's work. At that point, you literally have to do whatever to survive. So don't go listening to some guy on YouTube. Anyways, I'm glad you made it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And if you want to support the channel and help an African prince, you can always buy me a coffee using the link in the description. With that being said, I will see you in the next video. Peace.